those events. Oh, this is a good Disney game. Trust me, this is a good Disney game. This is now I can't zoom it in because, as you see, every time I alt tab, the game just kind of goes down. But this is a game from 2001 that I actually own physically. That's right, I own this game. Played the living hell out of it back in the day. Played this as much as I did Star Trek Starfleet Command. Oh no, this is a good one. I enjoyed the living... I enjoyed the living hell out of this. We have a tutorial here. So we're gonna go through the tutorial. Right, so get to tutorial here. The menus are small, but the game is in full screen. Kind of like, uh, the last time. We got ads Welcome coming up, to too. basic training. Today, we shall cover the barest necessities of controlling your ship. To take a look around you, right-click and hold on the open ethereum. Then move the mouse around to adjust the camera. This will come in very handy during combat. For basic movement, left click your mouse pointer where you would like to go on the open ethereum. A waypoint and a yellow pathing line will appear, showing the path your ship will take to reach that waypoint. To adjust your speed, click on the speed bar in the bottom left of the screen. Keep in mind that your ship becomes less maneuverable at high speeds. Oh, I forgot to change the death counter. One moment. Located in front of your ship is a yellow objective arrow. This arrow will always point you in the direction of your current objective, so pay attention to it. Now follow your objective arrow to the other side of the Shadow Islands. I forgot I gotta change the death counter. One moment. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna see this picture a lot. There we go. Or you're gonna see any background a lot. But yes, uh, there we go. Now, as you can see, this is how it works. You basically can move around. Frame rate stuck at 30 FPS, unfortunately, but it is what it is. But yes, yeah, this, this is Treasure Planet. This is based on the, the, the movie. Anyway, let's see. We can go that way. Let's see here. We can. Let me see. Let me move. Let me see. Let me move. Here, it puts us at full speed. This was, this was, this was, this was, like I said, I played the living hell out of this back in the day. I played the living hell out of this. And I loved every second of it. All right, setting course. You also have formation buttons down here, which will let you set your ship formation if you have more ships. This, uh, pauses the game. You just want to get a good look at things. This is uh, where you can change your waypoint. So you can say you can go like this. So you can set your directions. So the, the game will tell you, but it's easier just to do this right now. Vessel spotted, sir. Where? Oh. Changing heading now. Good work. On to weapons and targeting. To fire your weapons at a target, simply move your mouse pointer over an enemy vessel. If the vessel is hostile, your mouse pointer will turn into a targeting icon. When this happens, just left-click your mouse, and those weapons that are fully charged and within range will fire. Just click on your target again to fire another barrage. Should have done that. All right. Test your weapons on that unmanned target barge over there. Try and target both its sails and hull. It should have hit a uh, ad break while I was doing that. Yes. Okay, so you can, in this game, you can target 
the sails and the hull. Hull for hull damage, sails to just slow them down. Torpedoes away! Our ship only has torpedoes, which are those little tubes right there. And we have a gun. In fact, I should probably get closer. You can also zoom in on the target and look at it. That's the fire button, by the way. Hi, full stop. Hold on, let's see options, controls. Take a screenshot. Yes, you can take screenshots. Increased speed is uh my my death buttons, my 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 uh, death count buttons, of course, which are not bad. Can I can I rebind that? Panic fire is just hit the panic fire. Let's see here. Uh, open weapon bar. Let's see here. Uh, I slow ahead. Weapon bar. This is our weapons. We have two torpedoes and a main gun. Fire! You can click them selectively. I forgot what they do. Very good. That's all for today. For more advanced instructions, you may join me in the full tutorial or check your cadet manual. Good luck, Enton. And right at the freaking ads, of course. Of course, of course. So let's go ahead and BRB for the ads. Why are you acting like this, you fucker? Here, let's get out and teach him a lesson. Wait. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Why did I do that? Oh, my God! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I didn't know he could steal my mech! Oh, my God! It's uh, still not done. There's still a mess. But there is more to see around here, too. Got the pinball machine over there. The old chair, still there. I have to dispose of that. More drunk. <laughs> oh, look, my hair. I am not a killer. I just ban people, okay? I don't I don't kill, I ban. You got you went we went ahead and got it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I text was in. How are you? Oh, here we go. You did? Let's see how text this week says. We know thought the critical we acclaimed most for now that to see 14 has a free tool. Orned includes the entirety of a Wii Web on AWMD, the award winning Heaven Sword expansion up to Web 60 with no West Wiction Zone Poi time. Orned enjoy Ozia today. Oh no, Poi time. Oh, Poi time. He says it's so flat. Oh my god. Oh shit. Whoops. Hypersensitive to beeping now. Oh, I'm immune to mines thanks to the fucking dead body. <laughs> the moment I say it. The moment I say it. Fucking Christ. It is a pretty important agent. I mean, all he did was send messages. This should put a serious dent in their operational capability.
Alexandra Kerensky has gone into hiding. So I don't know if that means we can find and arrest them. So one thing I want wonder about in this game is if you move too quick, like if we... I got it. All right, and we're... We're back? And that was the training. Now we're going to go to do the full training. All right, Ensign. Are you ready to begin your field training exercises? No. Today we're going to learn the basic controls needed to operate one of the Navy's Royal Light Ships. If you do well here, Ensign, you'll have your chance to participate in the final graduation exercises this afternoon. I'll be right here beside you as we run through the basic operations, so pay attention to my instructions. Sure, Madam, whatever you say. Everything spoken is being recorded. So, if you ever find you need to review what you've been told, simply click on the chat button and then scroll to find what you're looking for. Thank you, madam. Thank you. The first thing we'll cover is movement. But before we begin, you should know how to move the camera. To move the camera and see what's around you, right-click and hold the mouse pointer on the open ethereum. Then move your mouse to the left or All right, right. you have a good night there, Ryu. Thank you for being here. Uh, Captain, why are you and out, going over right this? Right-click and hold on Bye. the ethereum, then slide the mouse forward or back. Once you get underway, seeing what's around you is crucial. Why are you telling me the same shit why we just learned? Why don't you spend a moment practicing with the camera controls? Zoom in and Come on, Boogie, let's burn this ship. motherfucker down! Zoom out and you can have a look at the surroundings. Boogie, let's burn this motherfucker down! Let's burn it! Howdy, Charles. Welcome in. Give yourself a shout out since you're also a mod. Or I'll do it for you, which involves me alt-tabbing and doing this. How you doing, Charles? What you doing? Hope you're doing well. We're playing... We beat Das Geister Schief. And so now we started this. Treasure Planet Battle at Procyon. For, uh, hopefully this works for uh, our Ardium Havoc's August for the Windows event that he's doing this uh, month. Because this game is p compatible with Windows 98. And the whole rule of the event was games that ran on Windows 95 and 98. Right then, on to movement. The fastest way to get moving is to left-click your mouse pointer anywhere in the Ethereum. When you do this, you'll see a waypoint marked by a large X and a yellow line showing the path your ship will follow. Once you've laid the waypoint, you will automatically accelerate to full speed ahead and follow the pathing line. I see if you're if you want this. to place oh. more than one waypoint at a time, uh, to maneuver around islands, for instance, you may use the multiple waypoints button found at the bottom of the screen. Once you've pressed this button, you may place multiple waypoints in the Ethereum. Each time you left-click, another X will appear with a pathing line connecting the points. You may continue placing waypoints until you've created a path that is to your liking. As you're placing waypoints, you'll notice a green check mark and a red X near the last waypoint you placed. Pressing the green check mark will accept the path you've chosen and start your ship moving. Pressing the red X will cancel your waypoints and allow you to start laying them out in a new pattern. To return to the single waypoint system, just press the waypoint icon again. Keep in mind that you can adjust the speed of your vessel by clicking on the speed bar in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. Red is all stop, yellow is ahead slow, light green is all ahead full, and dark green is full emergency speed. As your speed changes, so too does your ability to turn. A ship traveling at a lower speed can turn more quickly than the same one traveling at high speed. Keep this in mind when you get into situations where tight maneuvering is required. Do you see the yellow arrow in front of oh, the ship's boy. selection disc? That arrow represents an objective point. 
Follow that arrow and you won't get lost. Now I'm going to hand over the controls to you and I want you to try maneuvering for yourself. There's a lighthouse island nearby. Plot a course to it and remember to follow the objective arrow. Are you done? You done? Okay, we have... This is it. This is for other ships in our fleet. We don't have a fleet. This is for our weapons. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Can I... Oh, oh, speeding up the mouse actually makes it move better. Okay. So, let's see. We can do this way. Which is what I'll do. And let's... Uh... Moving to cruising speed. Cruising speed. Yeah, here we go. And this is the chat box where she will. Special spotted, sir. Special spot. Oh, look at that. Who's this? Oh, it's the endurance, and they're they're tugging a uh, a war barge. See this game, like I said, I played this game as much, if not more, than uh, Star Trek Star Starfleet Command back in the day. Because it felt like that, but with a Disney skin. I couldn't really show you the intro because, uh, unfortunately, the intro cutscene changes the whole resolution of my window and completely borks everything up. I don't know how to fix that, to be honest with you, but it is what it is. All right. Let's see. Hold on. While we do that, let's check our controls again. Okay. Weapon bar, ship bar, star map. That's M. M. This is our map. And alt is firing mode only, so you can't click around accidentally uh, while you're trying to uh, move. We're heading to this lighthouse over here. These are two options that allow you to uh, grapple hook and board a, tar uh, a ship if you're fighting with it or tow it if they're an enemy. And dock, you can dock with ships. That's our fire all possible weapons, but brilliant. I knew you would catch on quickly. We'll As learn about you just range. experienced, your sighting range is quite limited. Thankfully, the royal engineers and cartographers have been diligently updating our star maps. These maps indicate islands, nebula, and black holes in the area, which is handy as a spotter can only see so far. To view the star map, click the circular blue icon in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. Or hit M. As you'll see, the map shows our ship near the islands where we are currently stopped. The pulsing yellow dot on the map indicates your current objective. The upper left-hand corner of the star map is where the mission objectives are listed. These objectives will help guide you, and as a member of the Royal Navy, it is your duty to complete them. The tasks in yellow are your current objectives. Once an objective is completed, it will turn blue. However, should you fail to complete an objective, it will turn red. Be sure to check periodically for new objectives. Yes. All right, Ensign, activate the star map now. Okay, there you go. Do you see the large island in the middle of the map? Set your waypoints and make for that island straight away. And don't forget to use your objective arrow to help plot your course. Can I do it on this? No, okay. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're just gonna go that way. Setting course. And full speed, why not? This game had some pretty good graphics for the time. I don't know if the game's too loud or not. Y'all have to let me know if it's too loud. 
Hey, can I just lower the uh, game's volume, audio? Okay, nine should probably be funny. Yep. Oh, you also set the chan sound channel too. Okay. Well, that's interesting to know. Good. This is the view I like sailing at because you get to hear the, the engine sound. But technically, this is the view you should be using here as far out as possible. There's the sign! Royal Navy Firing Range! All ships steer clear of this area. Violators will be shut to persecution by authority of Her Majesty, the Queen. There's the island now. Our destination is on the southeastern side. Steady as she goes. Okay, so we're heading for the sign. Because, of course, why not? Why not head for the sign? <laughs> they want you to look at the sign very hard. That's the spotted sir. Oh look, there's a. Uh... Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Very good. Now we're going to cover weapons and targeting. Each ship's weapons are organized into banks. You can see these by left clicking the skull icon on the left side of the screen. This reveals your weapon bar. The larger the vessel, the more weapon banks you'll have. Yes. On this torpedo boat, the top icon represents the light lancers we currently have equipped. The two additional icons represent the torpedo tubes positioned on the port and starboard sides of the boat. The position of the icon shows where on your ship that bank of weapons is placed. Yes, we have torpedoes. <laughs> when a weapon is loaded and ready to fire, the weapon's icon will light up. The recharge bar along the left side of the icon indicates how close a weapon's bank is to being loaded. When a target is in range of a weapons bank, a green outline will appear around the weapon icon. This will happen regardless of whether the weapon bank is ready to fire or not. In the event that the weapon or the part of the ship it is mounted on are damaged and it cannot be fired, it will be crossed off in the weapons bar. Yes, you can lose weapons in uh, this game. Now that you know how to keep track of your weapon banks, let's review the targeting of enemy vessels. To target the enemy, simply move your mouse pointer over their vessel. The mouse pointer should turn into a targeting icon. This means the vessel is hostile and can be fired upon. If there's no targeting icon, the vessel is allied with you. When you've selected a target, all weapons that are loaded and within range will fire. Remember, it is possible to target specific parts of a ship. For example, if you want to target the enemy's sails, Click their sails rather than the hull with the targeting icon. Yes. Clicking on the enemy vessel again will launch another attack. Although the target barge isn't moving. Come on, Boogie, let's burn this motherfucker down! The Come on, Boogie, let's burn this motherfucker down! Come on, Boogie, let's burn this motherfucker down! Come on, now show me what you've learned, Ensign. Really? See that unmanned target barge? I want you to hit it as many times as you can with really? your lancers and torpedoes. Really? Changing heading now. Really? Really? Oh, slow ahead. Spotted, sir. Okay, what was the button to fire weapons again? No, that's audio, dumbass. Controls.
second area so then Okay. Those that's brought to you by Akeem, make sure you get your first. Oh, good lord. Hey, target the. Sh no, I gotta wait. Okay, I gotta wait. Tar come on, target the uh, freaking. Torpedoes away! There you go, there's the there's the light lancers. Cease weapons fire. Nice work. Of course, if one day you're lucky enough to get command of a larger vessel, you'll have to know how to operate special weapons such as grav charges and mortars. Oh boy, those are the big ones. As grav charges and mortars are lobbing weapons, you have to left click that special weapons icon in the weapons bar to activate them. Once this is done, you'll see a targeting icon instead of your mouse pointer. Similar to giving your ship movement orders, left-clicking on the Ethereum will determine where you want the shots to land. Yeah, basically just lobbing grenades. Be sure to target the weapon within its firing arc. For example, a bow-mounted weapon cannot fire on a position behind you. And remember, these are powerful but imprecise weapons. Be careful where and when you use them. Or you're as likely to damage yourself as you are your enemies. AOE weapons. Even better. If the icon is red, it means that you're trying to aim somewhere outside the weapon's range and firing arc. I'm going to transfer you temporarily to the RLS Starburst. The Starburst is a cutter equipped with one of the Navy's star mortars. Oh, lovely. I want you to practice firing the mortar at the target barge. Lobbing weapons take some getting used to, but don't be shy. All right, Henson, fire at will. Fire at will? Okay, where is it? Okay, this is where you decide you do it. You sit there. Since it's not moving, we can just... There it goes! And here it comes. I really don't like these weapons. They're heavy hitting, but uh They uh they're they're so That'll imprecise. Do. Stop the exercise. I've just received word that the RLS Surefire, a torpedo boat on exercises nearby, has damaged its engines and is requesting assistance. We've been assigned the job of towing her to a nearby Navy tender. Of course. To tow a friendly vessel, place your mouse pointer over it and right-click. This will bring up a series of icons. Left-clicking on the tow icon will automatically launch a tow rope. If you're out of range, move closer and reissue the tow command. Okay, well, we gotta go Ready, save Ready, Ensign? Follow the objective arrow and let's find that torpedo boat. All right, let's go find the torpedo boat. Where are they? Around the island, of course. Hey, we were having fun firing weapons, blowing shit up. Nah, you gotta go and uh, do this now. What they do? They 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 wrecked their engines. They goofed around too much. Is that what they did? They probably did. They probably did that. Me spotted, sir. Music's very good for this game, too. Ah, there's a surefire now. Get in close and issue the tow command. Once you see the rope connected to the other torpedo boat, follow your objective arrow to the tender. All right, let's just wait till we're in close and we can tow the surefire. Hey, buddy, heard you had some problems. Here, let me just give you a lift. Friendly tender in sight. And there we go. And yes, as you would expect, it actually provides resistance when you tow a ship. 
The, he the bigger the ship you're towing, the slower you're going to be, and the more resistance you get. It it's actually got some interesting physics. You think they would have went wouldn't have went that far trying to trying to do this, but they did, and I I I, I appreciate them. Unfortunately, because we're in a torpedo boat, it's going to take forever. <laughs> There's the tender. Now we've got to break the tow line to allow the surefire to dock and make repairs. To break tow, right-click over the surefire and then left-click the break tow icon. This will release the rope connecting you to them. Pull in close to the tender and break tow. Okay. Uh. I so had. That's what I was. Engines at full emergency power. That's what I was trying to do. Was, was go there and you freaking. Lady, I swear to God. All right then. Break tow now. Okay. Moving to cruising speed. Oh look, you oh now you have engine power. Jackass. Interrupt my time trying to blow shit up because you be stupid. Jackass. <laughs> I was blowing shit up. I was, nah, nah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this. That's how the, the repair works, by the way. Stop, Captain! Excellent work out there. We may make a Navy officer out of you yet. Luckily, the tender crew was able to repair the Shorefire's engine. They're at full power again. I requested that the Shorefire join our group under your command. Oh, good, finally. Which means... Now, oh. to see what ships are under your command, simply left-click the fleet icon on the right side of the screen. This will access the ship bar. The ship bar displays all the ships under your command. By left-clicking on a ship's icon in the bar, you can select it and give it movement and attack commands just as you would your own command ship. For instance, the Shorefire's captain will take your movement and attack orders, but her captain will set the Shorefire's speed and control her weapons. No, words, I don't get to tell Remember, them what to do other than move. When you see the name of an auxiliary ship at the top of your screen and your weapons bar is no longer visible, you're giving orders to the captain of that secondary ship. Besides basic movement and attack commands, you can give your fleet captains further instructions through the fleet commands button at the bottom of the screen. By double-clicking a ship bar icon, you can focus the camera away from your command ship and onto secondary ships in your group. To focus back on your command ship, you can either double-click on it in the Ethereum or double-click on the ship icon at the very bottom of the screen. I should also mention that you may right-click on any object, be it island, town, or vessel, and you will see an eye. Left-click that icon, and your camera will focus on the object. Remember, you can always double-click your ship icons to move your focus back to your fleet. Very in-depth All right, let's head back to Port Ivy. We've got a busy afternoon ahead of us. Yes, now we have the ship part of our fleet. The, uh, the Surefire. We can change our... We got that one. Let's see here. This will tell them to fire on our targets. This one will... Or, no, no, this one will tell them to fire. The whole fire. This one will fire. I'm dumb. Anyway, let's just uh, do this. There we go. They'll actually, they'll actually switch, uh... Ensign, I want you to put your ships into formation. To do this, left-click the Fleet Commands button and select the formation you want. The Shorefire will fall into position and sail with you in that formation until you issue her new orders. I, be, I was just messing with that lady. How about you shut the hell up? Ooh, what are these?
All these ships you will be able to control in this game. Oh, there's the business right there. Look at that one. <laughs> I think that's a man at war. Man of war. Go to full speed and get this over with here. But yeah, I, I just, like I said, I love this game. I love this game. I was looking for looking forward to today to play it. And it fits because, hey, it's on Windows 98. Vessel spotted, sir. Where? Oh, another one. What is this? Okay. You can also look at the town. See, here we go. This is the, uh... My now, if... now it's time to dock. We'll let the Shorefire dock first, Ensign. Select the Shorefire from your secondary ship bar. Once the Shorefire is selected, move your mouse pointer over the dock. You'll notice that an anchor icon appears. Left-click on it, and the Shorefire will begin an auto-docking sequence. Yes, we have to let them dock first. Once you've issued the docking command, just let the Shorefire's captain take over. When the Shorefire is docked, go ahead and follow the same process to initiate the auto-docking sequence for your own ship. If you want to cancel docking at any time, just issue a movement command and move away. Thank you, madam. Thank you. All right, Surefire. The captain is deemed that you dock first, so uh, you... You dock. And we'll watch. And they'll actually dock, see? They're actually going to dock. We'll just go ahead and holding. Wait for them to dock. Yeah, you'll be a, a dog's age before they finish. <laughs> now it's our turn. It's a bit more realistic, too. Like I said, in terms of like, you know, over Star Trek, where it's like you actually can dock with stuff and all that. You actually have control of uh, changing your weapons later. You'll actually get to change your weapons later, too. So if you want a torpedo boat with a bigger gun in the forward, you can do that. Within reason, of course. Not bad. Not bad at all. Unfortunately, our training run took longer than I expected, so our debriefing will have to wait till later. Everything we've covered here and additional information can be found in your cadet manual. They mean the, tr they mean the right. instructor manual. Now you'd better hurry back to your quarters and report straight away to the Epsilon docks if you want to make the graduation exercises on time. Congratulations, you are prepared for the graduation exercise. And what they mean is starting the game proper. Yes, we're using, uh, fake. So we have, we're gonna go see normal, easy, easy, normal, hard. We're going normal. We're gonna do normal, because like I said, I've beaten this before, a long time ago. We're gonna start a new campaign. And, uh, I don't know if you can, uh, uh, my, everything is moved. Let me know if you it can is see it. the golden age of exploration. Solar-powered lightships ply the ethereum of deep space, bringing colonists and trade to every corner I, of I the can't, galaxy. I can't, I can see the chat, that's about it. Everything got moved to the right. Because it changed my resolution size. But even a golden age has its dangers. Some natural. And some decidedly less so. Let me check, see if I can even Where see it on my, on my thing here. Also pirates, always ready to prey on the unwary. 
Within the Empire, such crimes do not go unpunished. Those who would disturb the peace must face the Royal Navy. Of course! The Queen's Royal Lightships have protected the Empire for over two centuries. Whether fighting pirates or Procyon invaders, the Navy has always been victorious. Until now. Just as the Empire and the Procyons are on the verge of peace, Sorry that it's in the a little new corner menace inside. has appeared on the frontier. A menace that cloaks itself in mystery and leaves no clue except destruction. A menace that may be too powerful for anyone to defeat. Yeah, d d like I said, it changes my freaking uh, my freaking uh, resolution for, for this game. I can log Jim Hawkins Ensign, entry number fifty-seven. Sorry, Sam's. I wasn't this nervous when pirates were chasing us all over Treasure Planet. I shouldn't be this tense at all. I mean, it's only my entire naval career hanging on how well my crew and I do during this graduation exercise. I've been assigned the command of a Stinger-class torpedo boat. A sweet little craft, fast and maneuverable. But still, that's a lot more than the Solar Surfer I'm used to. Now if I can only keep my voice from shaking when I give commands, I should be in business. Here's hoping I manage to get us through the final exam without making any mistakes. Yeah, that's the problem. The, the cutscenes are going to move everything to the god dang right. Oh, wait. There it goes. Had to wait for a minute. Game? Game? Uh oh, I think the uh, I think the game may have uh, gefilte fished. <laughs> oh no, the game, the game just said nah, fuck you. The game, <laughs> the game just said nah, fuck you. Oh no. Oh okay, wait, 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 maybe, maybe. Nope, nope. The game just said fuck you. Game just said, fuck you. Okay, hold on. Let me bring, let me see. Mute that. Okay, let's try that again. Fuck! Okay, so we're going to have to skip that cutscene. We're gonna have to skip that cutscene. All right, let me uh, shit, piss fire, double damn ass vinegar. Okay, hold on. It seems to have changed my resolution. Hold on. Yep, it changed my resolution. Did it change my, uh, controls? Increase speed. Yep, it did. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, let me just skip, skip. We go just had to skip that well at least you got to see the cutscene kind of <laughs> mr hawkins thank you for joining us this morning for those of you coming from other training academies i am admiral amelia and it is my job to usher you into full service with this final series of exercises all vessels are to use dummy loads in their weapons and to pay strict attention to my commands now you may have noticed the three fast frigates from Her Majesty's 32nd Strike Flotilla. These distinguished ships have volunteered to be your targets for the first scenario. You students will set a course to bring your flotilla to the west of the Montressa Archipelago. 
swing south below the archipelago, then attack the frigates by cutting through the small islands to engage them on the other side. This exercise will test how well you've learned to use the speed and maneuverability of smaller craft. Consult your maps and set course now. All right, let's see. First you of all... You heard the Admiral, Mr. Onyx. Let's get out there and be the first to hit him. Aye, sir. Bringing the engines to full power. I don't know if they got the actual voice actors from the show. Also, I'm going to take the opportunity to save. Um, just in case. <laughs> That's the fun part of playing with old tech without a uh, dedicated retro PC. You have problems. Problems I wish I didn't have, but you know, when you don't have money, <laughs> you can't just, uh, you know, spend money willy nilly to have like a retro PC. Why not? You have to make do. Setting course. Alright, we have no ships in our fleet. Our fleet is currently, uh, just us. <laughs> aye, aye. Cruising speed, Captain. Nope, nope. Full speed, full speed. Changing heading now. Spotted, sir. And there's the enemy. The Sovereign, the Vanguard, and the Lightning. Well, they're about to get wrecked. Moving to cruising speed. Engines at full emergency power. Changing heading now. There are the frigates from the 32nd now. Students, attack! Try to get as many torpedo strikes as you can in two minutes. Aye, ma'am. It's got a nice little story. Swift, watch your shit. You little sucker, you ain't getting away. You getting shot, son. Come here. Full stop, Captain. No, no, not full ah, stop. Not full stop. Speed, Captain. Torpedoes away. I setting course. All right, let's see if we can get closer in on them. Nice job, students. Now reform and escort the target group to the southern edge of Clark's Nebula. Okay. Okay, what was my objectives? Uh, option. Summary. Nope. Okay, nope. Options was a uh, control for objectives. Pack fires X. We don't want to do that. I forgot what my objectives were, but it's fine. I set in course. That's worthless. But yeah, these three bars, the green is our health, the yellow is our, uh, engines, and the red is our, uh, weapon power. If you lose weapon power, you can't fire. At least, I think that's how it is. I could be wrong. Uh, 
Oh. I set in course. Okay, so yeah. Yep. Uh, we seem to have some shenanigans going on over here. What the hell is going on here? Hey. Oh. Hey, a Crusader, you drunk? You drunk, sir? You, you, you seem to be trying to poke the vanguard there in the butt with, with, with your prowl. Can you stop that? You're looking dumb. Maybe you need to come back here and you need to run Helsman, in this. Approaching Nebula. Changing Ooh. heading now. The Nebula. Right then. Welcome to Clark's Nebula. Red flagships head around the nebula's west edge. Blue flagships head along the eastern edge. When you meet again at the northern tip of the nebula, you will engage the other team in battle. May the best crews win. Uh, which way are we going? Oh, we're going this way. Haha! <laughs> setting course. Hi! Full stop! No, nope, wrong button. All right. And if you're wondering, yes, nebulas are just as much of a bitch in this game as they are in Star Trek Starfleet Command. I'm not even lying. These things are a bitch. <laughs> they play, if I remember right, they play havoc with you. If you go into it, you actually will be damaged. And I got a message. Oh. Oh, which well you spotted! You don't attack whales, but you will look, look at them. Look, Mr. Onyx, Orcus Galacticus. Spotting them is supposed to bring good luck. I wouldn't know, sir, but they are certainly magnificent. Pardon me, whales. How you doing? Changing heading now. Yeah, when yeah, you did see the pain, the whole nebula thing makes makes it very much a pain in the ass to do see. But it's fine. Do not shoot the whales. It's bad luck, and also it's also mean, and you're an asshole if you do. Do not shoot the whales. I repeat, do not shoot the whales. <laughs> kind of like the Gecklies. Wait, I mean, the Gecklies don't make noise. Spotted, sir. And here we go. Red and blue teams engage. And remember, when a flag turns black, it means that ship is considered destroyed and all its systems will deactivate until the end of the battle. The engines are at full power, sir. Oh, they got dropped. Ah! Come on, give me my torps. Give me my frickin' torps. Thank you. I said thank you.
Oh, they're trying a the boarding action there. Torpedoes away! Alright, setting course. Well, one's now. Uh oh. Fire! Alright, setting course. Well, that one's down. Congratulations, winners! A fine battle, well fought by all. And I hope those of you unfortunate to be black flagged have learned a valuable lesson or two. Yeah, now that you then, suck. While our friends from the 32nd Strike Flotilla return to Crescentia, the rest of us will continue with the remaining exercises. Students, form up behind me and follow my course. There we go. Need to... Hey, Crusader! Could you not get in the way, please? Oh, there's the Swift. Yeah, this game is, is like... It's, it's more about maneuvering than, in, than just your weapons, so... It's a very interesting game. And I like it. Which is why I'm doing it for the stream. Deadly Tender in sight! Hey, it's a tender! Can't remember if you can get a Please tender as a. live ammunition oh. for this next exercise. Ooh. Dock with a supply tender to rearm. You first, Mr. Hawkins. Okay. Hi, ma'am. Docking now. Let me save real quick. Yes. Save, just in case. <laughs> There we go. Dock. There we go. There's the docking. We got two drunk drivers over here just kind of wrecking each other. That's beautiful right now there. Now then, all ships enter the asteroid belt south of here for target practice. It's time for you to experience the raw power of your weapons when using live ammunition. You may fire when ready. I'll halt the exercise when I think you've had enough practice. She'll halt the, halt the exercise if she thinks you have enough practice. Really? When you think I've had enough fun? Really? How dare you? I will say when I've had enough fun, madam! I keep slipping down on my chair. <laughs> uh, full speed, please. There they go again! What the hell are you... Okay, now all three of them are being dumb. Hey, madam, do I have to be with them? Because, uh, they're being dumb. Oh. Torpedoes away! Moving to cruising speed. We're blowing up rocks. Okay. Oh, you got cannons. I just got this itty bitty little pea shooter. Asteroids. I will. Changing heading now. Yeah. Torpedoes away! I want the gun turn. There's the gun. Fire! Last 
didn't bother. Cease fire! I've just gotten word that the Royal Navy Tender Providence is under attack by pirates. Of course. We're the only group close enough to stop the blackguards from running off with the Tender. Break off and head due south at full speed. Engage any pirate vessel you see, and show them what it means to poach this close to Crescentia. But be careful. This is not an exercise anymore. The pirates will be firing real laser cannons. Real laser cannons. Careful, Helmsman! Asteroids! Wait for these wait for these three chuckle nuts to freaking pass by. This is why I'm giving them a wide berth. Actually, I'm going to pause the game for just a moment. And we're going to BRB for uh, some ads. We'll be right back. Jerks, my turn now. I've got the power in my beat to slap you down. You're gonna fall down and hit the ground with a big old pound now. Knocking you down, I'm slapping you all around. Getting back up to that high note count. We've already been out of here. God damn it. Why is it so fucking hard, man? Wait, did I get that? Oh shit, I just made it! I literally made it with one second left! Holy fuck. Wow, that's crazy. I literally just made it. Wow. Wait! No, Chuck, man! We're in a timed segment of the game! You're taking your revenge on me now! Who's going down? Who's going... Shit. Hey, O'Connor, there's a parrot up in that palm tree. Use that training of yours to get it down here, ASAP. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Poor little beast, you killed it! Die by the very weapons you adore! <laughs> Once again. Oh, good. But I have, like, no magic. That's a bummer. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's... Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> oh, God. Okay. Holy Magros. fuck. Magros. Well, Magros. folks, Magros. if you want to get hype train Magros. emotes, Magros. now's the time to do it. <laughs> <laughs> There's spam some. Thank you for gifting 100 subs. These dragon broods eventually mutate into humanoid forms with pale crests and draconic Holy shit! I should probably save. <laughs> Secret room. It's Woden's office. He's got all these kinky freaking sex toys. <laughs> He's into bondage. Next. And then there's a video Let's from the makers, the void. from the devs. Captain's log. Development update 2001. After a brutal flame war, our verdict's pixel shaders were left out of alignment, and we have been forced to stop to make repairs. As it can take some time, the only date our engine officer has seen fit to give is when it's done. And we're back. I'm always afraid that every time I come back, the game is gonna crash. I mean, that 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 fear is very possible. Also, I've learned uh, there's Crescentia, by the way. Friendly 
tender in sight. I'm going in alone, by the way, because as you see, it, my friends have all decided to have a little get together. And stick back there for whatever reason. The AI ain't too smart in this game. That's the only thing. The AI is not very smart. tag you because pirates all their all their main thing is they will they will try to board you and we're just a tor torpedo but we do not have the ability to uh deal with that So thank you. Torpedoes away! Enemy vessel destroyed, sir. And they got like boats now. Nice work, Lieutenant Hawkins. I knew you had it in you. Nothing like finishing the day with a little scrap against some blackguards, eh? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. A fine day's work. Now, gather up any pirate longboats you can see and take those ruffians prisoner. Why, yes, I will. Changing heading now. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Sir, come here. See, you can even zoom in on them. They have no weapons. They're just lifeboats. Barely took any damage. In a day full of surprises, I found the strangest one after the battles were all over. As we hauled the last of the pirate prisoners aboard, I was surprised to hear my name called out. It was Turnbuckle, one of John Silver's old crew. A face and form I hadn't seen since my adventure to Treasure Planet five years ago. I thought he was gonna ask to be set free because we knew each other. But all he did was stumble up to me and press a lump of dark matter into my hand. Silver says, beware, was all Turnbuckle told me. Before I could question him further, he ducked back in line and was herded off to the prison ship with the rest of the prisoners. Well, this is a turn. By the time I found a moment to get back to my quarters and examine the rock, my mind was filled with a thousand thoughts of the old pirate I hadn't seen in so many years. I had heard rumors of him from time to time, some whispers of his ship being seen on smuggling runs, or even that he had turned privateer and was preying on Procyon shipping fleets in the name of Queen and Empire. I was still deep in thought when little Morphe, the pet Silver had given me all those years ago, jumped up on my desk and began to chirp and spin. To my amazement, he suddenly changed into a miniature version of old John Silver and croaked, beware, beware, as if he understood something that had evaded me. Too bad he can't tell you what it is. Despite Morphe's tricks, I'm no closer to an answer. Could Silver have been trying to warn me about those strange new iron ships on the frontier? Or some sort of new pirate threat closer to home? Without Silver here, all I have is more questions. And so, I'm left to try and understand this message. One word that Silver had to say. And I can't know whether it's a threat or a warning from the cyborg that befriended me years ago. Silver says, 
beware. I would have to be. Yes. And sorting mission two. Greetings, Lieutenant. We have a bit of a mystery on our hands. It appears that there are some pirates operating in the area, but they always seem to be able to evade capture. Your job is to find out why and to put an end to it. They may be operating a small base on one of the local islands due south of here, so keep an eye out. If you discover any suspicious settlements, you are expected to capture them and take prisoners. Yes. You actually can attack settlements. Yes, so. ma'am. Wait, did I save? There, yep, save there. But unfortunately, it is time to quit. It's been four hours. And it's time to end the stream. And right out. I he's, think, he's well, that's people. the wrong button. My name that's is the wrong goddamn button. <laughs> Oops. But I thank all of you for joining me. 